Uh, hey, Gamer Dad here. So I've been playing with the OBS Stream Deck. Uh, people are asking a lot of questions and stuff. So uh, I did my main configuration this week, and I'm going to share it with you. Um, this is what my setup is so far. So I put my main streaming buttons right here. So that'd be my live stream, my chat stream, a big face cam, be right back. Then over here, I put some extra scenes, which I'm using right now. So these are ones I wouldn't use as often. And I just made a new folder for that. And check out my other videos. You want to see how to make a folder or OBS scenes and stuff like that. And right now, I'm using that one. Uh, we'll come back here, and this is my main. But then, ah, there's more. But wait. So I did a whole meme section, and as you can see, um, I've got like, say, you know, hey, thanks for watching, or thanks for loving me, or something like that. I can do a little meme, right? And hey, where's John? Uh, oh, there he is. And everybody loves John walking around, right? And then I go back, and I go to Windows, and I'm, ta-da, I'm good. I bring it back up. Now, how do you do that? All you do is go into your OBS, pick your main stream, right? For me, it would be this one. Uh, Right-click it, duplicate the scene, and then you can just change elements of it. And that's how I made sort of scene inceptions. Now then, uh, up here again, I'll just, I've got my short record and my long record. And I actually set up some configurations and hotkeys for me playing uh, Player Unknown's Battleground, like the med kits and stuff like that, because I actually play with a trackball, I know, old school, uh, which helps me out a lot. Now. Uh, what I had a lot of fun though with was making sounds. Initially, I tried to make extra scenes the same way I did the memes and stuff, but it doesn't work because I can't hear the sounds. So instead, what you do is use the open button here and you drop it down and you can say open up a file and then you browse for whatever file. And that could be a media file, audio file, whatever. I'm just going to delete that so it's gone. Thank you very much. Uh, and then all I have to do is push a button. How cool is that? Now, here's the key to this though. If you don't open up your media player or your audio player or whatever you use to listen to sounds first, the first time you push the button and you're playing a game, it will push it into the front and you'll end up tabbing out of your game. So I'm just going to show you now, since I have VLC open, uh, let's go over here. I'm going to go to my live streaming. Uh, there you go. So this would be my whole live streaming thing. I'm just pushing buttons and, again, something cool's going on. like Or... I'll probably have to lower that one. It's a little loud. And then I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to go to Windows, and I'm going to tab out. And let's bring that back up. So uh, there you have it, right? So I've got my mainstream buttons. I can go to my extra things. I can play with sounds. I can fire up memes. I can record. I can do all of that, and I can do all of that from this little guy right here. Okay? That's it. Look at that. That's it. And you can see all of those. Not because of my green screen. You're not going to see the buttons, but... You know, they're all lit up and they look pretty and it just sits right above there. I tried to do this before, okay? When I first started streaming, I tried to have about, I don't know, half a dozen, maybe eight scenes. And eventually I just lost it because that's a lot, a lot of uh, hotkeys, right? Like that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I probably got about 16 hotkeys just for streaming there. And to try and do that on the keyboards and stuff, I'm just, I'm just not that good at the hotkeys this made it super easy and i can move around from scene to scene hello how you doing you know come back over here uh fire up a meme you know do something for science go back over here hit the sound button you know can you dig it? yeah damn skippy i can dig it it's awesome and i can have all of this basically not my fingertips my finger feel the power so this is actually giving me the sort of a really robust streaming environment. Uh, and it lets me do something really weird, which is just focus on streaming and adding value to my stream and, you know, let me perk things up and have a good time. That, that's what it's designed to do. And you know what? It does it well. It does it really, really, really well. So um, if you're thinking about getting one of these things, man, you know, they're about 150 bucks US. I think it's about $200 Canadian for me. And I think it's going to be totally worth the uh, the time and money. It takes a little bit uh, to get used to setting everything up. And, you know, I have some other videos on that. And there's really good tutorials for this. But uh, it's just Stream Dick is knocking it out of the park and making Gamer Dad very happy. So uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and all the good stuff like that. And hopefully I'll see you on Twitch. Uh, thanks a lot for listening or watching. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're watching here. And uh, I'll see you next time on Gamer Dad TV. Doggy Bell!